cracking open these keys to the kingdom here. Uh, there seems to be kingdom focus that we just don't see in our upbringing in the different religions that you and I have both participated in as well as the viewers listen what are some kingdom focuses that pivotable and how do we verify that this is kingdom and not just another religion so to speak or, or just another perspective that this is the perspective how do we verify absolute truth in that sense but from a kingdom <laughs> angle, right? i what think are, what the, are some the... things you do or, uh, or or does the bible give us instruction on how to rightly divide oh, absolutely it does uh the the number one thing that i tell people that is most important in the kingdom of god is to develop your relationship with holy spirit let me tell you why jesus told his disciples before he left the planet. He said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you, but I am sending one in my place. And he referred to Holy Spirit in this passage as the comforter. And he said that Holy Spirit would do three things that basically fulfill what you just asked. He said that he would guide us into all, all truth. He would show us things to come and he would bring all things back to our remembrance. I think it is extremely important to know that and to remember that because when you talk about truth, when you talk about verifying something that is or is not kingdom, the only one who can decipher, discern, uh, whatever that for you is Holy Spirit. The Bible says uh, for us to study, to show ourselves approved, a workman that needeth not being ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The only way you can divide rightly the word of truth is through Holy Spirit. He is the one that is the verification factor. He's the one who knows all truth, absolute truth, part of the epitome of absolute truth. And if he knows all truth and knows all things, and Jesus said he would guide us into all truth, then we have to trust that. And when you trust that, then you become a son, according to Romans 8 and 14, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God didn't call us Christians, he called us sons. Now, I'm not knocking anyone that calls himself Christian. Please understand, for those of you out there in, in the, the realm of believers uh, that call yourself Christian, because I, I once called myself a Christian, but I don't anymore. And part of the reason for that is because when I learned the where that word even came from that word is not a kingdom word it's a word that was assigned to those who believed in what was called the way or the way that jesus taught the way that jesus lived those who were believers of the way that term was given to them by pagan not by god so i refer to myself as a son or a believer in the kingdom of god i also refer to myself as an ambassador because i am a representative of the country that i come from which is the kingdom of god and an ambassador carries the full weight and backing of the country that they represent and its government thereof. So uh, with me being a representative of the kingdom of God, I am a carrier. Those of us who are believers in the kingdom of God, you must understand we are carriers of the kingdom governmental order of God. We carry all of that on the inside of us. And whenever we get into a, a situation that calls for kingdom to rise up, like let's just refer to a legal matter because you touched on that earlier if you had to go into a courtroom and and in natural uh uh, uh in the in a natural court of law um what you don't know could hurt you can hurt you if you don't know the law uh that will be used against you god doesn't operate that way which is why we have holy spirit and even what we naturally within our own physical brain what we don't know Holy Spirit knows how to bring it up into the forefront of our mind or bring it to us where we do know what it is that we need to know so that the devil doesn't run roughshod all over our lives. The only reason he's able to have access legally to our lives is for, uh, uh, because of ignorance and what we don't know. So it behooves us to get to know the government of God, to get to know his his uh, uh, his laws and his statutes and, and what have you. Um, but in anyway, and going back to 
uh, what you were saying about how do we verify, I believe that is how we verify it through having a relationship with Holy Spirit. And the more you get to uh, 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 have a relationship with Holy Spirit, the deeper your relationship is with him, the, the more uh, you will be able to recognize things. I remember uh, or recognize things that are not uh, uh, of the kingdom of God. I remember the Lord telling me some years ago, he said, the closer you are to me, the better you're able to recognize the enemy. And it's not to say that we are not to uh, study the tactics uh, or the, the movements or actions of our, our enemies, but I don't think we should place more emphasis on that than we do learning about the kingdom that we say that we're a part of, learning uh, how Holy Spirit moves and operates, learning to, like Jesus said, he said, my sheep know my voice and a stranger's voice they will not follow. So the better our ear is fine tuned to be able to hear Holy Spirit with clarity, the better that we, uh, the better we are able to sidestep landmines, the better when life situations happen, we can do like you asked earlier, we can verify, okay, this is of kingdom. This is not of kingdom. Gotcha.